Hi everyone, today I'd like to discuss the hip hinge movement pattern with you. Think of your deadlifts at its foundation, it is a hip hinge. You gotta pick something off the ground like your child or a box, you should be able to do that by using a hip hinge. All right, the importance of doing this pattern correctly is protecting your low back, your spine. And I don't have to tell you how important your spine is. So we want to be able to protect that as best as we can. All right, so as you can see, I have a stick here. Uh, this is my walking stick, but you can use a broomstick. Uh, if you have a PVC pipe, that works really well as well. All right, so to show you the hip hinge using the stick, all right, first start with your feet about shoulder width apart right here. All right, so having my feet shoulder width apart, straight ahead, I'm going to think about driving my big toe into the ground. So that way when I do this movement, the toes are not coming off the ground. So drive that big toe into the ground. Think of three points of contact, your head, your shoulder blades, so right there in the middle, and then your low back and your butt region. So I'm gonna put this stick right on those three points of contact. All right, and then you wanna be able to brace the core. So bring those ribs down, get that core, your abs muscle right here, nice and tight here. And then you're gonna soften your knees. So your knees are gonna be bent just a little bit. And then you're gonna just push your butt right behind you here keeping those three points of contact in the, on the stick the whole time. Now once you get to your bottom position, going as far as you can without having anything leave the stick, you should feel that in the back right here, so right here in the hamstrings, all right? The nice thing about using the stick here is it kind of tells you if you are doing the movement wrong. So if you go and come down and you go down here, then you can notice that the stick it's not in on my low back here and I can feel that so you want to get that back on the low back and then try again and then come right back up squeeze the glutes all right at first it's gonna be a little bit trial and error you want to be able to practice this as much as you can before we load it up you want to get to the point where you don't need the stick and without having to think about it you can just get into that bottom position and come right back up. Once you can get to that point, that's when you can load it with weight, okay? But in the meantime, as you're practicing the movement with the stick, let's do about 10, 15 repetitions, and I want you to go as slow as you can. I want you to hang down in the bottom position right here for just a couple seconds, get familiar what this feels like, and then come back up and really focus on squeezing the butt and then come right back down, nice and slow, pause, and then come right back up, all while using the stick. All right, do that. If you do that on a daily basis, you can get to the point where you don't need the stick really fast. All right, so next time I'll show you how you can load that up with weight once you are familiar with the hip hinge. All right, so go ahead, give it a try, and then let me know how it goes. All right, I'll see you next time.